Hey everyone, Lucas here, and this is the January 3rd edition of This Day in Florida Panthers History. But before we get going into that, a couple things I want to cover. Um, first off, I want to give a huge shout out to an awesome, awesome website out there, Panther Parkway. Um, link is down in the description and will be there forever. Um, great site put forth by uh, Frank Riquez. Um, he, the guy knows his stuff, very knowledgeable in um, hockey. Florida Panthers, um, you know, you may disagree with him sometime, but he knows his stuff. Go ahead and check him out. Follow him on Twitter. You know, you know, it's great conversation with him. Like I said, he knows the sport of hockey. So go ahead and go give them that um, follow on Twitter and check out the website as well. So next thing I want to get into um, and something that's dear to a lot of Panther fans that really is pissing off some Panther fans, including myself. Um, Marcia so has signed a contract extension with the Vegas Knights for six years at $5 million a season. Gee, that's a fucking steal. That is a fucking steal if you ever fucking told me. And guess what we did? We let him go for a draft pick. Just incompetence on all levels of the Florida Panthers franchise from ownership down. How do you let a 30 goal scorer go like that? I can understand if the, this guy was uh, Brickley or, um, you know, whatever, one of the younger guys, uh, some of the other guys that just aren't worth producing. Marshall So was our producer last season, okay? If it wasn't for him stepping in to to that role when Huberto got injured, we probably wouldn't have been the worst team in the league, okay? But no, we, we let someone like that go. Utterly unacceptable of a franchise to do. Worst move ever, ever in this franchise's history. And we thought the Chris Wells trade from for, uh, Stu Bonds for Chris Wells trade was bad. Now that take this takes the cake, especially now that the fact he's thriving still and is even better than he was last year. Last year he had 30 goals, 20 assists for 51 points in 75 games. This season, this season, he already has 15 goals, um, 22 assists for 37 points. Easily is going to break both of those records, and he's only played. 35 games. How is that possible you let a guy like that go? Unbelievable. Well, I'm done with that. You guys can talk down below in the comments what your thoughts are of that. Now, on to last night's game. Lost 5-1. to one. Horrible game. I ended up going to bed like after the first period. Um... And because it, it, just the fact that it's just been so cold, it's been unbearable to really enjoy yourself and be comfortable. So I've been going to bed. It's a hell of a lot warmer today. It's like 30 degrees, which is like a heat wave for us. It's like feels like 90. Um, but that thing I was talking about last night, yeah, that ended. That ended on that on the second. On the second, we had. Three consecutive shutouts on this day going, and we lost it in the first period. So, good job. But anyways, again, it's a good. At least it's a loss against the Western Conference team. Doesn't hurt the standings. Boston beat the Islanders, so that helps us out. Carolina did get a point in um, a overtime shootout, so they are now tied for with the Islanders. Pittsburgh is a point behind them, so now there's more teams that we have to worry about. So a huge game coming up tomorrow. We'll get into all that type of finagling stuff tomorrow. But anyways, on the third, um, we had a um, winning streak of seven games at home snapped on this day back on the 16th, uh, 2016. Uh, we had an overall record of 6-3-0-1. We went three. We are so far perfect at home with 3-0 and record. Um, on the road, we are 3 3 0 and 1. And the most goals we've ever scored on this date is 6 against Pittsburgh, and we did it twice against them. Uh, the most goals against is 7 against Vancouver, and then the most opponent played 
obviously is Pittsburgh, which we played them twice. Um, in this one, the game against uh, Pittsburgh, I think it was a six to one win uh, back in 2008-9. Sidney um, Crosby actually got into a foot. So that's how bad we absolutely crushed them that year. All right, guys. So that's um, that's it for this year in Florida Panthers history. I know it's short um, this year in history, but uh, that's all I have today. Tomorrow, I don't know when the video is going to be up. We are getting a major blizzard up here tomorrow. I am actually working. Um, so I have no idea when we're, I'm going to get home. It's probably I'm, – I'm scheduled at 5. I have a friend that's going to give me a ride there and back. Again, no idea how the driving conditions are. They say they're going to be absolutely horrific. So I don't know when that video is going to be up. It might end up coming up uh, after the game or during the game. I don't know yet. Um, but it will be up. That's my um, promise to you guys have these videos up. So again, if you guys like these videos, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And please share. And also give me a follow on Twitter. I'm back on Twitter. Uh, link is down below as well. So thanks for watching, guys.